clouds broke alike in dignity in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge to breaking mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the later lines of these two foes. A pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventure Pythias overthrows, doth with their death bury their parent strife. The fearful passage of their death-marked love, and the continuance of their parents' rage. Which but their children's end, nought could remove, is now the two hours, traffic of our stage, the which if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our to also strive to mend. Here come the two houses of Montague. I'll buy my thunder, which disgrace me if they bear it. Do you buy your from us, sir? Do you? I do buy my thumb, sir. Do you buy your from us, sir? You on our side if I say I. No. No, sir. I do not buy my thumb at you, sir. But I buy my thumb, sir. You lie. Draw you be. Draw if you be men. Oh, fools. Put up your sword. You know what not to do.
by the voice should be in Montague. Now, by the stock and honor of my king, to try to death, I hold it not a sin. Why, her now, kinsman? Wherefore, storm you so? Uncle, this is a Montague, our foe. Come and hit it in our spite, to scorn our solemnity this night. Young Romeo, is it? Contend thee, gentle cuz. Let him alone. I'll not endure. So I've been joy. My master here or you. Go to why uncle, till the shame. Do you not swear 
traitor. Or is thou willst? Madame! I know in business! Three words, good Romeo, and good night indeed. Is that thy bed is lovely honourable? Thy purpose married? Send me once more. And all fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madame! Buy and buy, I come! Tomorrow will I send. So thrive, my soul. A thousand times good night. Love goes towards love, as schoolboys from their books. But love from love towards school with heavy looks. The great morn smiles upon the frowning night, checkering the eastern clouds with, with streaks of light, and fleck darkness like a drunkard reels from a fourth day's path and tightens burning wheels.
Then if I am not, boy, this young look the excuse that injury thou hast done to me. I do protest, I then injure, and so do you, which name I can add dearly as my own, be satisfied. Calm, dishonourable, vile submission, till when you wrap up to the walk, what was it thou hast done? Good king, cats, look at the word of thy lives. Ah, oh yeah. Gentle Lucushi. Tybalt, Lucushi, the prince, hath expressly forbidden this. Hold, Tybalt, go, Lucushi! Torture, hell itself, hence banished is banished from the world, and the world's exile is death, then banished. Is death mistermed? Calling death banished? Thou cuttest my head up with a golden axe, and smilest upon the stroke that murders me. Affliction is an amount of thy heart, and thou art wedded to calamity. Banishment! Impossible! Save death! For exile have not terrorism. Much more than death, do not say banishment. This is dear mercy, and thou cease it not. It is torture, and not mercy. Heaven is here where Juliet lives, and every unworthy thing live here in heaven may look on her. But Romeo may not. Good Romeo, hide myself. 
drink thou off, when presently through all thy veins shall run no pulse, no warmth. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade, and in this borrowed likeness of shrunk death thou shalt continue two and forty hours. And then thou shalt wake to a pleasant sleep. Thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindred of the Capulets lie. In the meantime, against thou shalt wake, shall Romeo by my letters know our drift, and hither shall he come. Love give me strength, and strength thou hope forward. Farewell, dear father. Nurse, I pray thee, leave me to myself tonight. Good night. Get thee to bed and rest, for thou hast need. Farewell. God knows when we shall meet again. What if this mixture does not work at all? Then shall I be married tomorrow morning? No, no. This shall forbid it. Romeo, I come to thee. This I do drink to thee. Juliet? Juliet. I could not send it, nor get a message to be with me. Then to the bed. Oh, and happy fortune! The letter was a dim, poor, and neglecting one that made you much danger. Now must I to the monument alone. Go hence and more talk of these sad things. 
For some shall be pardoned, and some punished. For there never was a story more woe than Juliet and her Romeo.